right, Red Bud, let's go racing. Brandon Carter ran into the gate. Good job. Burns has got a nose in there. Payson Ooh. pushes everybody out, and Johnson is down huge into the first turn. Trevor Burns gets the Design Lab co whole shot. I picked it, baby. Let's go, Trevor Burns. 21% of you also picked him, and he's got the whole shot. Johnson's got some work to do, and this is uh, going to be Ooh. one heck of a good race. Yeah. From behind right here as he's trying to hold on to the spot still. Throwing it two different types of ways right here. Let's see if we get some dualies off the lead. Both these guys go uh Hunt rips that whips. inside and might Come pull on. up alongside of him. Nope, no dualies. <laughs> they both kind of do a little bit of a kick out scrub. And uh look at that. Inside move. Cooper Hunt moves up into second place. Nice move. Does he get the door shut on Marcini? He does. And Cooper Hunt now P2 on the racetrack. Third. Awesome. Oh, Cooper Hunt just went down in second. Let's see if that battle gets to him. He's in a really awkward spot trying to pick it up. High centered on the rut, has to cross over a few of them, and bam, here they are. Battle for second is on. Eaglin Carter have now caught Cooper Hunt. They are 23 seconds off the lead, but this is about to be a great fight for P2 on the track. Yeah, this is going to be awesome, these three getting into it. I honestly think that Cooper Hunt might get passed here by Eaglin as he throws a huge oppo. Same thing with Braden behind him. Those guys are feeling it. Cooper Hunt goes down oh. all on his own on the inside. He's going to get caught up with uh, Carter. Braden Carter right there, and he's going to lose two spots. Man, Eaglin made that thing quick and easy. Now Tyler Lang's up in this trying to make some moves oh. too. They all funnel to that one rut. That's the main preferred line there. And look at how good this battle is going to be. I think these three are very evenly matched. Payson Johnson is going to be in it Jeez. soon. Carter makes a mistake. Wow. Hunt goes by again. Look at this. This is awesome. Three riders over the finish line jump in unison. Four, or three, four, five on the racetrack as Carter back in front of Cooper Hunt. Payson Johnson is lurking behind them. They're losing so much time to Burns, but the battles are incredible. Carter, Hunt, Lang, and then Johnson in the background as they jump into this inside line. Carter in and out of that one good. Goes defensive, blocks the inside here. Hunt kind of high centers awkwardly through them, and now Lang's got a good drive down the hill, and Johnson's just licking his chops. If you're Johnson here, do you wait for the chaos, or do you try to start passing them as they're going to go around? Eaglin suddenly. Eaglin's in the fight. He goes Whoa. straight on in that corner. We got five riders nose to tail. Eaglin swaps and almost goes down. He's going to slide all the way back from uh, second back to sixth. Oh, Carter's lost a position to Eaglin, and then Eaglin goes down just as I say that, or is he? Yes. Yeah, that was Eaglin down. So there's too many of these district cowies, I feel like, that I keep getting messed up. But he was in second momentarily, went down again. So Carter back into P2, 18.8 seconds up the uh, or behind the race leader. Trevor Burns. Burns, he continues to clicking off the, the good laps out front. Here is Payson Johnson in fifth, and... Continuing to have some struggles. 217 won last time by. He's only nine seconds ahead of Cooper Hunt now. So another fall off crash. He'd fall outside of the top five. And I don't really know what this is for the 51 machine. It's tough to dissect because he's had moments like this already this year where it just seems like the flustered uh, nature of, you know, crashing too often gets to him. But also he had crashed a few times in this mode already and seemed to have it under control. I don't, I don't really know how it got to this point. This man... Goes to Southwick, wins the first moto, doesn't get the overall, but has a pretty strong second moto to follow it up, and then comes to Redbud and backs it all up once again. How about it? Stand up and clap your hands for this man. Second week in a row, your Moto 1 winner is Trevor Burns as he takes Moto 1 here at Redbud in the 450 class. And he has been cooking lately. Look at him go. Fight for second is on. Lang is there. Inside move. Gonna get around Eaglin, and here comes Carter. Let's see if Eaglin scrubs back to the inside. And here we go one final time from America's racetrack. We're off and running at Red Bud. Pretty good start for Carter. Another good start for Boutigny. Carter's going to control it to the inside. He's got Payson Johnson with him, but Brayden Carter to the inside is going to get the Design Lab Co. whole shot on the number nine machine. It's Brayden Carter, Payson Johnson to the outside trying to take over the race lead. Carter into turn two is going to... Hang on to the lead momentarily. Johnson's trying to get it, though. Is Braden Carter Captain America right now? Because he just came out of nowhere right now, and he's crushing it after kind of sucking it up all season, showing sparks of good, but unable to do it. Whole shot, two good starts, and the whole shot here, throwing down up front. He is feeling spicy, and honestly, I think another a podium is going to be uh, in his future. But Payson Johnson, man, being right there in second, that's not what you want to see if you're Braden Carter. I think this might be Payson's race to lose. 
Carter trying to control this inside. Johnson around the outside is going to turn to the inside of the top of the hill. And the 51 red plate holder takes over the race lead here at Redbud. I like Quinto's full setup. I just don't know if it's American enough for me. Anyway, Burns just went down in second. He's down with the lapped rider. The number 16 at Caleb Hall was down. And Burns is going to pick it up in fourth because going by was Cooper Hunt and Colby Eaglin. So that's a big change because he's still going to win the overall, but he's not going to gain really as many points as he could today. Actually, is he going to win the overall? Let me think. Eaglin. I also don't think he cares about uh, points. Okay. I think he just wants to win the overall. Yeah, Eaglin 3-2 is not going to be to 1-4, even if Eaglin could get to second, uh, or it should, it should say if he finished second in the first moto. Where'd Payson finish? Payson finished fifth, so Payson is not really a factor as long as Burns stays inside of the top four okay. for the overall. But uh, obviously so on his way to winning this moto, he is cooking out front. 204 last time by, but he looks like he might be laying in another good one right here. Scrubs that down and goes 156.7. And look, we just went through all those guys. And one thing I was looking at was how gnarly this track is getting. It's ridiculous. And Johnson's still going 156 out yep. here. And it's going to lose that spot. This battle is over for now. Uh, it Oops. might be back on. Lang made yes. a mistake. And look, don't look now. If these two get don't together... Look. And they perhaps go down. Only six seconds behind them is Castellaneta versus Burns. If Burns can get Castellaneta and then go get Vial and oh. Lang somehow, he could still win this overall. That's where he needs to get Lang right there. Vial's down with uh, Ethan Parks. And so that's going to be up into sixth now and Ooh. into fifth because Castellaneta made a mistake. And that is, is that Lang? Is that Lang too? No, is that, who is that? It is Lang. It's Lang. Lang down is going to give Trevor Burns P4 on the racetrack, which is going to be the overall win. How the tides have turned on this final lap. He's got a hold position though, because these guys are still hot on his heels. Castellaneta is right there. And then those guys got up in a battle with each other. Shirley Lang, Vial battling each other. Look at how close they all are going off of this double into the big uphill triple together. So this could be for the overall win if Burns is able to hang on. Meanwhile, let's poke our head back out front. Payson Johnson hitting the leap, getting sideways. We don't know yet if it's going to be for the overall win. With Eaglin still there in second, he could win the overall. Burns could win the overall. It's so up in the air. Who is going to get it? Two turns to go. Payson Johnson Brings us up the uphill rollers. He's on the rear tire. He bounces back from a rough first moto where he gets fifth and charges all the way through this time to pull away and win 450 Moto 2 at Redbud. Now let's see what happens. Eaglin's second should be 3-2 on the day. Burns is fourth. Can he get it to the flag and win this overall? I think the storyline here is we have to keep an eye on Burns. He's got to have so much pressure. He just passed two or three guys in the last lap for the overall position. What we think a 1-4 would be if that takes it down. And, uh, oh, ooh, small ooh, mistake there. I think out. it's going to take it, though. He's just got to keep it on, too. This is going to be the biggest nerves he's ever felt in his career. This will be for his first ever 450 overall win. Can he bring it home, Kellen? One more corner. Trevor Burns to the flag is going to win the Red Bud National pending penalties. But he gets fourth in the moto and charges back to the overall victory. Castle down to flag. Pablo Vial hung tough as well. Shirley gets back to seventh. Lang goes from fourth to eighth on the final lap. He's going to be kicking himself. Frank Jackson ends up ninth. Rutigny looks like he'll be tenth. Quino, Bodie Parker, Jane Gomez still battling. Pilsner and Brayden Carter having a tussle here for 15th and they're uh, currently having a debate at the moment on who has better bike control in the game. Pilsner <laughs> argues it's him but uh, Carter always the ever talented rider moves up and gets into 14th. Let's go racing. It's the Redbud MX Simulator National live now. Redbud! Tharp with a good jump, but it's actually going to be Carson Bolin with a Ooh. huge hole shot through the middle. The 158 Allied Yamaha rips the Design Lab Co. Hole shot, and he's off and running at the front of the field. Do you think he threw up a number one in real life as he was going over that hole shot <laughs> Maybe. line like Ty Masterpool? Because if I was him, I would have. What a hole shot by Carson Bolin surviving all the carnage and with a huge lead right here he's got to be freaking out inside his helmet oh. really designs gear making it look good up front oh he gets a big kick right there. oh he's no down. before oh. he gets to the leap he lays it down stevenson gets hung up and a couple other people seth carr takes over the lead let's see if he gets the leap from the middle rut 
No, he backs out of the challenge, trying to jump over top of him into the lead, and he's going to get it as Ryan Chousey. Look at that red bud move side by side over the tabletops. Now coming back down, they'll dually. And Chowsey cuts the line off, takes over the lead, and blocks the line. Doesn't let Carr get through. Carr's trying to fight back up in the rollers as getting sideways as Snyder. He gets into the tough blocks. Carr to the outside, tries to take the lead, and he's going to do it before the end of lap one. And do we have some carnage here, Kellen, early on in the 250 races at Red Bud uh, and try to work his way back. And Logan Leitzel is absolutely ripping up to these guys' rear fender, and he's taking all kinds of different lines inside here, outside around the roller there, then jumps back into the rut. He's going all over the place, and he's not even a Carl's Jr. burger. It's ridiculous as Jackson Vick is all over Evan Holt for, the, for the second place right now. Two, three, four on your screen, battling it out here at Red Bud. And Leitzel's trying to claw all the way from 38th to second, just past the halfway point, 18 minutes in. Whoa. Jumps down the inside to get Jackson Vick. Is it going to get both of them? Oh, he's side by side with Holtzy. Lays it oh. over big time on the table and takes over second place. What a move by the three. Yeah, Holtzy is going to need a. We're going to need to have a talk to him for having some of the most elite duelies we could have had all day. Whoa, Logan Leitzel having the cross up. Only double singles it. Look at that. Jackson Vick to try to make the pass around the outside right there. Unable to get it. These guys are drag racing a little bit bar to bar down here. And look, Vick in the check up to go to the, no, not even the inside. Just kind of rolls over for Logan, who is side by side with him. Logan is going to hold on to this position. What a great little ha uh, last lap of racing between these three. And uh, Logan Leitzel is going to come out on top of them, and, and he hold safely uh, holds second place. To be honest. Hell Meanwhile, yeah, we brother. got a winner as oh, Seth shit. Carr <laughs> took the win. We were too busy lit kidding it up here, but Seth Carr wins the first moto. Logan Leitzel is going to take second, uh, but eventually, I mean, goodness gracious, he's got to a be, minute and seven seconds. <laughs> to be fair, yeah, no one else is finishing the race. Yeah. I mean, Seth Carr was absolutely gone. 158 for his best lap. Uh, still a battle for third. Matherly has gotten back to hold for third, and he might get him right here down the inside. Matherly has gotten all the Here we go. Time for the gate drop in 250. Race number two from Red Bud. We're off and running. Oh, the 332 of Snyder's got a good jump. Someone in the middle has got a pretty good start as well. Stevenson is there. Let's see if he holds it into the start. And it's going to be a hole shot for Hayden Stevenson. Design Lab Co. Hole shot for the number 12 Nexus Triumph. He's got John Heilman right behind him. So Heilman with a good start. Tharp up there. Tharp was down in the first corner in Moto 1. He's off to a good start here in Moto 2 as he scrubs down the hill into P2. And we'll figure out where all of our title contenders are soon. But the early leader right now, Hayden Stevenson, trying to get away. Stevenson with a great hole shot. Heilman. Okay, Heilman and Stevenson, in my head, they're best friends. Okay. Probably not, but I feel like they are the most so evenly matched. If they're in the LCQ, they're one and two next to each other. If they're on the track, they're one and two next to each other. They're just always together, and I like I feel like they're friends, but they're not. They're just always on the track together, like glued to each other. So Stevenson and Howman, they were like my two picks in my head, and I just went with Howman because he had the great start last time. So Stevenson though takes it this time, and look at this great start right here. But he is getting pressured early. Tharp to the lead. A lot of people. Tharp makes it happen. Tharp down the inside gets a little bit lower on that uh, tabletop. And, hey, look who else is up here. Logan Leitzel on the three is already in P4, trying to swoop around the outside. Gets into third and maybe even second down this inside at the bottom of the hill. Logan Leitzel finally gets a good start, and he might be shooting his way into a battle for the lead before long. Stevenson jumps off the track. Leitzel jumps to the outside to take over second place, and he's got his sight set on Tharp up ahead. Peeking his nose yeah. in, he wants to make this move pat or this pass, and he wants to make it soon. Oh, he's trying to force the issue Whoa. into this rut, and Tharp gets into him. Leitzel to the far outside into the race lead. Here's Stevenson and Carr battling for third right behind them. Stevenson's trying to go into second around the outside of Tharp. Not going to get it. To get out front early is such a confidence booster for these guys. And Cade up to six, the top three in the championship inside the top six. That's awesome. Look at this. Blows the corner. Tharp is going to be able to get the jump and the preferred line. He's going to go around the outside. Leitzel loses that position. And by a long shot, Braden Tharp is able to make the move and get back out front now with how, <laughs> how much he's kind of pulling him. Yeah, and this is a uh, panini sandwich, as we always Whoa. like to say. Is actually, it changes hands right there. Into the lead goes Logan Leitzel. A slight case of Larocco's leap right there for Tharp is all it took, and Leitzel gets the lead, although be careful right there. Lapper almost jumped in front of him from off the track. So now it's Leitzel leading from Tharp and Seth Carr entering the rollers behind them. 
Lapper's a plenty for sure, but Leitzel's going to navigate this one well, and he is now leading once again. Yeah, Leitzel with just a, a great drive over the leap and one small mistake that shows you how big we were questioning in the first race why people were either going inside and doubling on purpose when they could go outside or whatever they can do to get the drive to make it. That shows you how big of a difference. Uh, they were probably half a second to a second apart. And one good thing, look at that. Logan Leitzel blows the berm. That's going to allow Tharp to go right up that inside line and make the pass back in the lead. And now Logan has to work all over again. And all of these small mistakes are allowing Seth Carr to inch slowly forward. Outside Sheesh. line right there. Logan Leitzel going to follow to the inside. They're both battling for the same rut. Logan is going to have to pull in right behind him, and he is still in second. That line that he's taking gets so close so early, but then you have to relinquish to the guy on the outside to get to that rut. You can't make it. Trying all sorts of different lines. Railing the outside here. What can you he do here, Kellen? Oh, my goodness. Look at Leitzel's going to try this inside line at the bottom of the hill. Tharp kind of pushed his nose a little bit, and Leitzel pulls up alongside and retakes the lead, at least momentarily. Look at Tharp. Pulls right back alongside of him down the hill to the inside. Goes Leitzel. Tharp oh. to the outside goes down, and Carr goes up in the second. Now he's going to challenge Leitzel for the lead as the three and the 15 are out front here at Redbud. Remember, Carr won the first moto. Leitzel is trying to win the second and the overall. They are tied on points for the day, but I think th uh, Seth Carr wants to go 1-1 here. Yeah, Seth Carr definitely does, and look at that. Right up the inside, small mistake by Leitzel, and Carr is going to be able to come up and make the pass over the flag tabletop right here. We're going to come see the, these two both over the leap side by side. Seth Carr goes one right inside. Leitzel trying to rail the outside. He almost missed the leap. Let's see if he cases it. And he does just a little bit, just clipped a hay bale right there. Logan Leitzel unable to fight back, and that's going to give Carr some breathing room. Leitzel needs to make the move here soon, or else uh, I think we're just going to see Carr right away with this. 20 minutes into the race, we've finally seen some big lead changes between this group. They've all come together here. Small mistakes, though. This thing ain't over yet. No, it's absolutely not. And you know Leitzel's fired up to not let Carr go away this time because Carr got that massive advantage in the first moto, took off with the lead, and ran with it. Now Leitzel's going to try to fight back immediately. Look at this. Inside move even through the first corner. Got that rut very good. Now he's going to swing way out by the mechanics area. Carry like speed it. into this corner, and Carr goes down. Leitzel runs into the side of him as Carr was flipping over the bars. That has to be a forced mistake right there because Leitzel was pushing that outside, and Carr just goes right over the bars. Side, but yeah, just I trying know. to take the safe lines. Make sure he gets to the checkered flag because this is going to be a huge win for the number three machine trying to get back on the right track moving in to the second half of this season. Well, the first moto he came from way down, 38th place all the way back to second. This time he fights through with a vengeance. It's gonna be a moto win and it's gonna be an overall win. Logan Leitzel wins the Red Bud National in MX Simulator. Yeah, what a great ride by him. Look at Cade still going right here. He's got some room now, finally he can breathe. He's fought so hard all race. These guys, him and Seth Carr, both working their way up. They didn't start right in the front, maybe fifth and seventh. Worked their way up, got into a little bit battle late, and then Natterly is going to come out on top right here. Seth Carr coming in with a 1-3 finish here. Going to lose to that 2-1 uh, by Logan Leitzel. That's going to gain him a couple points in the championship, like you said.